After 11 months into Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. has reversed course and decided to send 31 top-of-the-line tanks to Ukraine. That announcement follows talks last week, leading to the U.S. and 50 other countries pledging to provide roughly 500 armored vehicles to Ukraine. Jared Hill has the latest. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked the U.S. hours after President Biden announced that a battalion of Abrams tanks would be sent to Ukraine. It will enhance the Ukraine's capacity to defend its territory and achieve its strategic objectives. Delivering these tanks to the field is going to take time. Time uh, that we'll see uh, we'll use to make sure the Ukrainians are fully prepared. The president's announcement, which came on Zelensky's 45th birthday, follows Germany's statement that it will also send Ukraine 14 Leopard 2A6 tanks. It's about coordination. It's about the, the unity here and the resolve that, that we all have together to help support Ukraine. If I was a Russian tank crewman, I'd be worried seeing those tanks on the battlefield. This retired U.S. Army colonel says he wishes the tanks were promised sooner, but he believes they will help Ukraine's attempts to expel the Russians. It gives them an offensive uh, mechanized armored punching force that can uh, carry out offensive, create penetrations in the Russians' lines, and uh, that also potentially can produce surprise and shock. Current tanks on the front lines in Ukraine date back to Soviet times. I think uh, Abrams uh, level power challenge is very good for us. It's helpful us for uh, victory. When asked about the Abrams tanks, a Kremlin spokesman said, quote, these tanks will burn just like all the others. Jared Hill, CBS News.